All right, the National Transportation Safety Board is about to hold a briefing moments from now. Reports that this Amtrak train was traveling at more than 100 miles an hour, twice the speed in that Philadelphia area, especially on that curb. Former NTSB Chairman Jim Hall on the phone with us now. Jim, what do you make of this and whether speed could have been a factor? Well, what this underscores, Neil, is uh, the failure of our nation to invest in our infrastructure. This line was scheduled to have a positive train control system, which would have uh, prevented this accident, and uh, the investment was not there to put it in. Well, wait a minute. What if it was, ju what if it was just the engineer, Jim, going fast? It had nothing to do with an infrastructure commitment of money, just a guy, no, it, you know? If you, Neil, if you have positive train control, even if the engineer was attempting to go with an excessive rate of speed for whatever reason, which we do not know, the positive train control would have automatically break the, uh, the train and would have prevented the accident. Well, that would have made the engineer who was ever riding the thing a useless player then, right? Who needs the engineer in that event, right? Well, uh, well, Neil, we, we've had a lot of conversations. You know, you could say, do you need pilot? Of course you need uh, right. dependency in all transportation systems for safety. But the, the device or whatever, I mean, it, could it have been a track issue as well? Or could, I mean, the, if it wasn't, well, I mean, this guy's going fast, fast, I mean, is any sort of uh, mechanism going to slow that down without the, the engineer slowing it down? A positive train control system would uh, slow it down, it would slow down any train. And uh, that whole uh, technology has been slow walked by the railroad industry for years. Just on the expense issue. Well, and on an expense issue. You know, we as a nation, Neil, are in investing a smaller percentage of our GA, the G, the GDP in infrastructure than we have at any time in modern history. Well, that that seems to mean that that if we were if we were more extravagant in our infrastructure spending. Uh, and the, in the years past, so I we were. I wouldn't call safety extravagant. Well, no, no, but I, I think you think understand what I'm people... saying. In prior years, Jim, when we did spend more on this as a percentage of our budget, uh, we still had the speeding train issues. Rare as they were, they still happened. So what makes you think more money committed to this makes them any less? Well, in the 1940s, there were technologies on the rail that were taken out once we... Uh, basically went from a passenger rail country to a freight rail country. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, check the figures, uh, Neil. We have invested, uh, unfortunately, and right today there was a uh, hearing on Capitol Hill to once again cut the Amtrak budget. And um, passengers just need to know the situation. Would you privatize it? Some people say we don't need a government-run railroad. Does, uh, would you privatize it? What's that? Would you privatize it real quickly? Uh, that is uh, certainly an option. All right. But uh, CSX and Norfolk Southern are both private, and they essentially uh, have control over the no, you're right. They, they, you're right, Jim. They do own those rails. They do own the, the, the tracks on which those trains uh, fly. Jim Hall, thank you, former NTSB chairman. We're going to get more.